Hi, so let's get started with the installation of different software required for the project development that is uh, Postgres uh, and other software. So we'll start with Postgres. Just type Postgres in Google and click on downloads. So you will have option to install Postgres for multiple uh, operating systems. I am using Windows, so I'll go with uh, Windows. Then click on this download the installer. So it will lead you to this page. Uh, these are the Postgres version that are available for download. Mm, I recommend to use the latest version that is 15.1. Our operating system is 64 bit. So this is the installer that you need to download. Uh, just click on this button and uh, download will start automatically. So I've already installed the Postgres. So I, do, I will not uh, follow the installation steps but uh, it's pre pretty simple just just keep the port to 5432 uh, do not change it to some other port you can but it's not needed uh, and then when installation is done you will have uh, pg admin and then the most important thing uh, that is uh, application stack builder stack builder application stack builder so when installation of postgres is done then just click just search for application stack builder and then select the postgres uh, postgre uh, postgresql uh, your version i have installed 14 on port 543 just select this version and then click select and then click next So it will, it will provide us um, different extensions and tools that that will be required for for proper working of uh, our database so here you you can download this uh, web development uh, plugin uh, also you you need to install this is mandatory to check this post post gis 3.3 bundle for postgres so this is needed just select uh, this extension i have already installed so i will not download um, this extension instead i am in, uh, downloading this uh, http server so you need to select this post gis 3.3 bundle and then click next so it, will, it will ask you to select uh, a repos uh, our folder for for download i'll go with so my download folder click next and it will start downloading uh, your selected extensions okay then when download is complete we will proceed with the installation click next I will change the directory to GIS server then select port to 9080 this is basically server where you can put your code and uh, it will be rendered uh, it will render the gis based code in your your browser then click 
finish on stack builder so your installation is complete uh, now just make sure that you install post post gis extension from stack builder because it is required uh, it, it it basically provides the capability to import gis data to postgres so i'll go with pg admin now <coughs> this is postgres admin in here you can create your database so you will have uh, set your password in uh, while installing the postgres just click save password so it it doesn't ask you again and again so here are the databases i have one postgres of course you can create new you can create database uh, using this window also you can create database using query query tool here is query tool you can use this to create database using a query and then we have schemas we can have uh, multiple schemas but public schema is by default so we'll use public for now and then we have tables under here so we do not have any tables uh, so when we create a new table it will it will come under this section so whenever you create database it is mandatory to to run this uh, this line of code that is create extension post gis if you are if you are planning to use postgres for gis data you sh you must run this this line of code it it will uh, it will add functionality of uh, gis related things to to your database just type create extension postgis and then click run so if you have installed postgis this extension will be created and will be shown in this section here so i will go in detail uh, later on for postgres now let's let's go for installation of uh, due server Geo server is basically uh, a server that is used as middleware for for hosting and serving GIS data. We will install the stable version that is 2.22 as of now. You can install you can download by clicking window installer. Uh in in download will get started automatically. So I have downloaded already, but to install uh, server you need to install uh, java runtime environment so we will come up to this section that is gre8 and then click on this section it will expand to the options available just install this uh, x64 installer click on the exe version click download okay so download is done now we will install uh, install java runtime environment okay so after installation of uh, J jre we will go to the setup
so after installation of Java, we will go to the setup of GeoServer and then double click to install it. So it says the this path is invalid, no 64-bit GRE found. This is because I haven't started the uh, restarted the system after installation of Java. So come up to program files and then Java and then JRE. Click OK. So now you see the this path is valid. Uh, 64 bit G JRE 8 detected. Click next. You can change this folder, but I, I recommend to use the default folder, default installation folder. Click next, next. Uh, if you want to change the username and password, you can, but for local setup, I'll go with this. You can change this port to any, mm, so I'll change it to 8081 instead of 8080 so we have two options uh, for installation of gserver that is install as service and then second one is run manually so i recommend to install run manually uh, if if you are installing it on local system if you are installing it on a, on a server web server uh, for deployment then you then install it this way so I will click select uh, run manually click next and then they, these are these directories installation directory and then a data directory so this is important the data directory um, I will come later for explanation of data directory our web port is 8081 then click install click finish so installation of post uh, geo server is done now if we go to start geo server just click start geo server if you installed uh, in GeoServer as service, it will it will get started automatically. But if you have installed uh, by selecting Run manually, then you have to search for Start GeoServer, and then it will get started. Okay, so I'll go to my browser and then write localhost. 8081 so I have changed my port to 8081 while installing your server if you do not if you have not changed the port just write 8080 slash your server and then you will come up with the login so I have uh, used default admin your server password I will keep it that and then login so here is our GeoServer main page and we have different layers available that come up with the installation. So one thing you need to make sure that if you have installed uh, using using manually run manually then do not close this window until you have to stop the G server will keep this window open um, while using G server so here is our G server and then we will discuss and use your server to to publish our data 
from database and then from files and I will show you how to use uh, it properly okay so next thing is to inst install a code editor I recommend using Visual uh, Studio Code so just write Visual Studio Code and then you can download it from here so we will code in Visual Studio Code and then this makes our, our installation part complete thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you